What's up, fellas gang? I'm finally back with a brand new video. And for today's video, as promised, I'm doing my part two of my sneaker collection, which will have Yeezys, Balenciaga, Nike, Puma, New Balance, all that stuff I told you guys in the previous video. If you guys have not watched part one, go watch part one first and then come back to this one so you guys kind of get an idea of what my collection is like. It's pretty big and um, it took a lot of hard work to get here. Um, it, this wasn't like an overnight process. I've been collecting shoes since I was like 10. So I've been starting early. So if you ever want to start being a sneakerhead or want to have a nice large collection of shoes, stay consistent, keep grinding, and just save your money up. Get some nice pairs. Get some classics in your collection. You know, Jordans and stuff like that. Don't be a hype beast. Get some classics in your collection so people can't look at you like a hype beast. So. But yes, we're here. Um, like I said, it's going to be the sneaker collection part two. It's not much of an intro, but um, before I get into the video, make sure you guys go shop my cosmetic line. I'm wearing glass slipper as always. My, everything for my business is below in the description box, my website, as well as the business page for my um, business. Go follow me and support me. I would really appreciate it. And um, yeah, go shout me and get some gloss. My Instagram is I am sure Marie. My Snapchat is PrincessGirl18. I am always on there talking to you guys and always asking you guys for advice or any kind of video related stuff. So to know when I'm asking you guys about questions for a Q&A or anything like video ideas, follow me on my social media because you can see all of my pictures I post on my Instagram. So follow me on everything and stay active with me and keep up with my life and what I'm doing. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe and become part of Flawless Gang. We've become part of the family. I would love to have you guys apart. It is 2020. Happy New Year. I am super excited for all the success and all the growing that we're going to do this year. I, I know it's going to be an epic year. I've been seeing that since New Year's. I know it's going to be epic. This is crazy. It's really a new year. The decade has passed and now we're into a new decade, which is crazy. But I can't wait to grow the family and the fan base. And I just cannot wait to see all the success we reach in 2020. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into my sneaker collection part two. All right, so to kick it off, I first have a pair of my um, designer shoes. And I really don't have many designer. I really don't care to buy designer shoes. Um, I'd rather save my money and just, you know, get something I really like, like a designer shoe. When I find a shoe I really like, I'll get it. I have worn some Raph Simmons, stuff like that. But yeah, I have a pair of Balenciaga Speed Runners. Um, I don't really wear these much. I should wear them more. But yeah, these are just the Speed Runners. Next, let's go right into Adidas. I decided to get some and, um start my adidas collection with the yeezys and i love them so much they're super comfy a lot of people have a lot to say about kanye and how he's controversial and stuff but his shoes you cannot say he's not a smart man with his ways of thinking with his you know stuff that he sells and stuff but he's just a great marketing man and he just does a great job with his shoes so kanye if you're watching send me a care package you know kanye i would love it you know <laughs> team adidas we can, we, we can make something happen you know so the first pair of adidas i have are triple whites I needed an all white pair of sneakers so I decided to get these and these are my first pair of Yeezys so I was like I should go pretty basic and then you know advance and get some crazy color ones but I wanted an all white pair so these are just the triple whites. Next I have my mauve Yeezys. I love these so much. I get a lot of questions about these. I got these around, what, when did these release? 2018 I think. I wore these last year, no, yeah last year for Thanksgiving. A lot of people loved it. I wore this um, cropped sweater from pretty little thing it was like this lime green that matches perfectly and a lot of you love this so these are the mobs moving right on into Nike I have a pretty big collection of Nike um so let's show you guys what I have so first of course you have to have a pair of all white G Faisals of course these are very popular my boyfriend actually got me these um this wasn't a Christmas gift it was just kind of like a care package just sent me some shoes and um these are in the box so Thank you, babe. I've been wanting some. The ones I've had were all small. I haven't had a pair since I was probably like 10. So anyway, these are just the all white G Faisals. I had the these. They're still brand new, never worn. So these are all white G Faisals. I have two pairs of 97s. So these are the Air Max 97s. I have these are the yellow, the gray, and black colorway. I love these. I had got these last year for back to school, and I have been obsessed with these. These are super comfy. I don't know why. I love 97s, and they're just great. Um, I want to get me some more colors, but this one, this is my first pair, and I love these. I love yellow, too. It's my third favorite color, so this is a colorway I love a lot. So these are a pair of my 97s. The next pair are a brand new pair that I got on Christmas from my boyfriend, and he got me these. Now, these I love so much. They're so different, and I've never saw anyone with these, so I think these are so dope and just different, and I love pink. They have pink right all up in the shoe. 
this blue is really pretty you guys know like i said in my last video i love this royal blue super nice and of course the black bottom it just gives it a nice touch and i love these so these 97s i gotta wear these soon these dropped only in grade school now these are super cute i love these and I, when i used to work at finish line these i got these when i worked there and these were some that a lot of women that had like a size nine and a nine and a half were like wearing i'm like miss you cannot fit these and the lady came in she's talking about some yeah well like i don't care what size y'all got i'm gonna squeeze my foot i said miss and your toes gonna be like this they're not gonna you're not gonna have the room you cannot fit this. If you're a nine, you're not fitting grade school. That's just that on that. If you're eight and a half, yeah, like me. I'm eight and a half and eight in women's. I can fit grade school. But miss, you're a nine. Your foot's too big. You know you can't fit. I love these. I want to get me another pair. I like the green ones and also the purple. I think I'm going to get the purple next. But they need to release some more colors because they be leaving us grade school hanging though. You need to release some more of these Nike. Thank you. Another pair of shoes I got when I worked at Finish Line are a pair of Vapor Max. Now these are super different. Now I wore these only one time from the summer and I wore it with like a black jumpsuit. Kind of. These are different. Like I love these so much and I haven't seen anyone with these. These are super original. This is my mom's favorite color, just purple anything. So I got these. I was going to get her a pair, but they didn't have her pair, her size in the shoes. So I'm going to have to get her a pair of these when they restock. Next, I have two pair of Hirachis. I don't really wear these anymore. Um, They're just pretty much sitting. They're actually for sale on my Mercari and um, Poshmark. So if you're interested in them, they are a size 8 in women's, I believe. Yes, I believe they're all both in 8. So... These are the florals. I'm not sure this name, but these ones were my favorite ones ever. I'm so mad that they got too small. I love the yellow tab in the back, if you can see that. But these are super cute. Not a lot of wear on them. I really haven't got these really, really dirty. So these are my only Hirachis in my collection. I plan to get more, but um, they kind of went out of style. I kind of grew out of them. But um, they're still really cute and comfy, so great for sports and running. So I have two pair of Air Maxes. So the first ones I have, these are super original. I love them. They're like this hyper fruit punch looking color with like this pink color. And then these ones are just plain black and white. I don't really wear... um air max 90s anymore but i plan to start wearing them more i think they're super classic and just comfy so these ones i definitely want to wear them again and these are just also just classic basic but these are cute and these are only um 90s i have in my collection i only have one pair of thea prints and they look like this i have never worn these like recently i don't think i will um they're just not my style anymore um i kind of grew out of them <laughs> but these are just a thea print i have another pair of Air Maxes and these are 2016 released so these are really really cute I love these I have never worn them before you can see they're still dead stock they haven't even took the factory paper out or anything I haven't even took them out the box to even try them on I don't think I just bought them um, when I was younger I don't think I ever wore them so I have to wear these these are really cute and I, you guys know I love pink so this is up my alley this is why I bought them because they're pink <laughs> but I have to wear these more these are super cute and um, I'm surprised I never wore them because they're pink, but these I get some more love and I'll bust these out probably in the spring because it's something, oh, why you guys, and like I told you on my last video, I wear white shoes, you don't bring them out in the spring. So this would be a cute spring shoe to bust out of the box. Next, I think by far these are the most comfiest Nikes I have in my entire collection I've ever felt on my feet in general. And these are some Nike Prestos. Oh my god, these feel like you're walking on clouds. And if you don't have a pair, please get a pair. See how much love I look at the bottom. You know how much I love these. And I used to have a specific um blue Nike tracksuit I used to wear with it. Super cute outfit, but I had to give me some more. These are so comfy. Like you can I could literally run a marathon. Like, listen, I could run a marathon. These are so comfy. I feel like we're walking on clouds. And the memory foam, I think, inside is just what makes it so comfy. But if you don't have a pair, please get a pair. They're so comfy. And get these just some Nike Prestos. Now we're getting way deep into my collection where it's like the old ones I used to have when I was like 12 and stuff. So if you know what these are, then you must be a really good sneakerhead. So these are some Diamond Turps. I used to have red and I used to have a yellow and black pair. But I don't know where those, they probably are in the trash or probably got thrown out. 
I used to love these, and these used to be the sneaks back in the day. I'm telling you, these used to be the sneaks. If you used to have a pair, you know how much these used to pop. Like, these used to pop. Um, yeah, these are the same diamond shirts. You probably, probably don't even know what they are because they're so old. But, yeah, these are some red ones. And, of course, red's my second favorite color. So that's why I got them. But these are some diamond turfs. Now let's get into the NBA player sneakers I have. I used to have a really huge collection of, like, LeBron's, KD's, and also Kyrie's. But I kind of got rid of them, gave them to my cousin Darius. You guys know, if you go back in my very old collections, you see my very wide variety of LeBron's. He's my favorite player in general. So I had the most of his sneakers, like, are just the Fruity Pebbles. These are super cute. I actually have these on sale as well on my Poshmark and Macari. So if you're interested in these, they're not really beat. They're in great condition. Also the box. These are a size six and a half. So if you're interested, if you're a boy or a girl, you can, you know, message me on Poshmark or Macari. Let me know you're interested and we can work something out. Open the offers, of course. Next, I had some KDs and I used to love these as well. I've never worn them, I don't think. Maybe once. They don't look very dirty on the bottom. So I probably wore them just once. But these are some Aunt Pearls. These are so cute. I love the history behind them with the whole breast cancer thing. I just love these. And I wanted the first Aunt Pearls he released in this style. And it was just, I'm so mad I couldn't get them. Like, I used to have, I wanted the peanut butter and jellies. I wanted so many. You know what I'm talking about. The very old KDs and you know what I'm talking about. And the only Kyrie's I have, I used to have a wide variety of his sneakers too. I love Kyrie as well. He's my second favorite player. Um, and these are just the Easter's. Kyrie ones so like I said very classic they haven't got very dirty they have some rocks and stuff I can get out of them but these are also on sale as well if you're interested these are a size 6 so you are size 6 girl or boy and you're interested let me know on Poshmark on my car and we can work something out but yeah I've probably only worn these probably twice so these are just the Kyrie Easters all right that concludes all my Nike um, I forgot some Jordans that I had in my collection from the last video so I'm going to show you I think it's about three pairs so I'm going to show you guys those so yeah let's start with the Jordans all right, so the first pair I see are the newest ones in my collection of 10s, and these are the Seattle 10s. I love these. So Now, this green, I love. I love a dark green. And it's something about it. I just love the color. It's just super cute to me. If, these are so cute, and I don't really get 10s a lot, so when I saw the colorway I liked, I was, I'm going to get it. So, I haven't bought a pair of 10s probably since, like, 2016 or 15, so I'm glad I finally got me another pair in my collection. So these are the Seattle 10s. Now, how could I forget these from the first video? These are the Cool Gray 11s. I only wore these one time for back to school last year. And these are the Cool Gray 11s. I love these. I've always, since I was younger, wanted a pair of high tops. So I hope and pray I can get some on Flight Club um, eventually because they'd be really high. So I'm watching it now. Stock edge or something. These on female's feet look so cute. But these, I never really see these in a lot of people's collection at all either. So if you have a pair, super lucky. But these are the Cool Gray 11s. And lastly for the Jordans, I have the Gym Red 12s. Now these are all red. I love red too, you guys. Like I told you guys, my second favorite color. I only wore these, I believe, never. Actually, I've never worn these. These are dead stock. I only tried them on in my house. But these, I've never worn these out, and I should wear these. If you guys have an outfit in mind, let me know what I could wear with this. But super cute, all red sneaker. I love it. And all right, that's it for the Jordan, Nike, and Adidas. Let's move right on into New Balance. So this is just the most comfiest sneaker, I believe, in my entire collection. I know I said about the Presto, but these, I'm not even lying. These are just the most comfiest shoes. When I was doing my grad project at the hospital, I wore these every day because if you're on your feet nine, you know, five hours a day, it's a lot. So these are just the 990s. If you're from Philly or just Pennsylvania Pier, you guys know how much you wear these. Of course, Baltimore too. Um, and of course, Washington DC, all you know, the surrounding areas, New Jersey, all we all we all wear 990s. So I had to get the you know the gray ones. They're super classic and they go with a lot more than just a crazy color. I want to get me some more because they're so comfy and I love 990s. They're just so underrated, but they're just so comfy. Like that's why all the trappers wear these because they're so comfy. Like literally, it's crazy. But these are 990s. If you don't have a pair, get you one. These are the most comfiest shoes. Stamp by me. I have two pairs of New Balance 574s. So the first ones I have are these ones and they are black with this tealish color and also a pink and white these are super cute i love the all pink bottom 
I believe I wore these only once and I should wear them more because they're super cute but I, all, I also didn't believe these are too small that's probably why I haven't worn them a lot and then the other color I have also for sale my Poshmark and Macari are red with some purple and black not beat at all on the bottom they're just in great condition I only wore them twice I believe so these two are super comfy as well and these are the 574s moving right on into puma i have two pairs of the classic pumas the suede ones i used to love these back in middle school and also i wore these a lot in freshman year of high school because they were so comfy and also they were just really popular because they were like different colors and stuff and it was just caught your eye and um i should get me another pair because these are super cute i still like them i have to wear them more but the first ones i've ever bought were these ones they're just in light blue color and they're just so comfy like I said not really beat or anything I hadn't really wear them much because I mean this is an odd color what can you wear with this you know it's like I saw this one shirt from Rue 21 one time it said flawless on the back you know I thought it was my merch but you know it really wasn't but I have another pair of blue ones and these are dark blue now these were my favorites I wear these all the time because this is more of a color you can wear with stuff and find you know more often than that light blue color I mean that's hard to find but this color super easy and if you guys don't have a pair these are so comfy you can find them on like kids full locker or something or even just regular full locker super comfy and these are so cute all right, now these are Rihanna's uh, shoes. I really don't know the name of these because I really don't care for them. I don't know why I bought these, to be honest, but here they go. <laughs> these are from Rihanna's collection, the Fendi collection. But, yeah, they're just the black little slip-on ones. They had all kinds of different colors, but I got black. I don't know why. I really never wear them. I probably never wore them in my life. They don't look dirty, but I probably wore them once. But, yeah, Rihanna. Moving into Asics, now this is one of my favorite brands besides Jordan and Nike. I love Asics. I think it's so underrated and um, I think it needs some more love because Asics really got the most comfiest, cutest sneakers ever. I'm telling you, their colorways are different. Like, they just have so many pops of color. I used to want the one um, gel lights, which were the Barneys. Oh my god. I was so mad when I couldn't get them. But these ones is heat. I love these. Are I think these are the most comfiest shoes besides the New Balance. It's really a tie. Now it's really between the New Balance and the A6. Because those two are so comfy. It's ridiculous. But the A6, oh my god. I could really walk all day. The tongue is so soft. The memory foam inside is to die for. So I have the Oreo Gel Lights by A6. These are super cute. I see no one with A6. Really, no one gives them enough love. You need to get some Asics. These are so comfy. If you're a real sneaker head, you gotta have some different variety. You gotta get some Asics because these are different and they're so comfy. You can walk miles in these and just get put some really cute outfits together with these. I love my Oreos. I wanna get some more 2020s, so I gotta find me some cute colorways. But these are the Asics Gel Light. I have two pairs of Fila's, which is unbelievable because a lot of people talk about Fila, how it's just like they will never wear them and stuff like that. But I honestly think Fila is cute. Some of the stuff they have is cute. I wouldn't wear everything. But these two are probably the only shoes I'll ever buy. Maybe some slides or something. But as far as sneakers, these are probably the only two I would get that I think are really cute in my style. So the first I have, I got these last year in my sneaker haul for back to school. And I'm not sure the name of these. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. But I got the red ones. My back to school outfit for the first day was so cute with these shoes. It was so different because no one really had these. I see a lot of people in Florida wear these. The bottom are very, very unworn. I only wore them for the first day of school, so they're not really dirty ever. Um, they don't look even touched on the bottom. But these are some cute feelers. I want to get another color. I think I want to get black. I think I want to get black or maybe the blue. Ooh, the blue or the white will be cute. They have so many colors. But these are the first feelers I have. And then the second ones I have, these are the most cutest ones they have ever released that I have saw. And I want to get me another colorway, but I had got me these when I had worked at Finish Line. But I had to order them online because in store we only had the men's ones and I couldn't really fit that. So I had to get the women's one. So these are the Ray Tracers. These are super cute. They're so comfy. These are also another comfortable shoe. The thing I love most, I love the yellow and black shoelaces. They kind of remind me of like a bumblebee. I love the laces. They're so original and I think they did good with this shoe. And the last three shoes I have to show you guys are more like fashion trendy shoes that I have been getting a lot of questions about from my previous um, pictures on Instagram. The first ones I wore when I had went to the airport to get my boyfriend and I also wore the other ones for Thanksgiving and the most recent for New Year's. So let me go in order. So I wore these all white slip ones with rhinestones for Thanksgiving and these 
are super cute. They are from Fashion Nova. Would you ever believe Fashion Nova has something cute like this? This is right up my alley. I love anything that sparkles and shines. You guys know me very well. You guys know this is something I would wear and a shoe I would design myself. These are so original and cute. I've never saw anyone wear these. They kind of remind me of like the Dior slip-ons, but these are just fashionable and cute. I don't care about the price tag. It really drip does not matter how much it costs. It really is how you put it together. You have the style to put something together and make it look. You have an outfit, but if you don't know how to dress, then it's just not gonna look right. You know, you gotta spend thousands of dollars to look like you got drip. No, drip is not about how much you spend. It's about what you wear with it and how you put it together. That's drip. Period. So. These are super cute. Now these are the ones I wore to the airport and I've gotten a lot of questions about these and these are from Runway. I've been getting a lot of my shoes from there and these are super original and cute. I love the back as well. They're just like some sporty trainers and they're just adorable. I love them and the orange lace gives a different look. But these are from Runway and these are so comfy as well. Size up if I can give you advice. If you're going to order on Runway, they're an Asian based company. So their sizing is off. If you're anywhere between the eight and a half and the nine of women's get the last size. If it's a 41 or a 40, get that. Get the biggest size they have. It will be the most comfy. It don't go smaller. It's gonna be too small. It's not gonna fit. So size up. If you are gonna order on runway, size up on their shoes. And the ones I've been getting a lot of questions about from yesterday on New Year's are these ones. These are so cute and they are from Runway as well. I love them. They are 3M. They light up they're like a holographic rainbow color with blue and purple. And they're just silver and black. These are so cute. I wore them with a black jumpsuit and I wore me um, a nice little fur vest. You can see the pictures on my Instagram. And uh, yeah, I got a size 40. See what I'm telling you? If you are anywhere between an 8.5 and, and a 9, go to a 40 or 41 and get the last size because you're I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to fit. You're going to have to return it. It's going to be a process. They have some really cute, trendy sneakers on there. The chunky ones that are like really in fashion. Just also like the slip on mules and stuff. They have all that on there. I love Runway. And Runway, if you're looking, Runway, let's do a try on haul, baby. It's winter. Let's do a little try on fashion haul. I've been shopping with you. Alright guys, so that is the end of my sneaker collection part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what was your favorite shoe I showed in this video as well as if you have any of these. If you have a shoe recommendation I should get, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new shoes to get. If you guys want more shoe videos, let me know. I'm going to be doing more sneaker unboxing. I can do like how to style different shoes. Um, sneaker hauls, vlogs when I go get new shoes. Let me know if you guys want more sneaker videos. I'll get them up if that's something you guys would like. As always, subscribe to the channel and become part of the family. Let's grow this fan base. Let's get to 100k this year. Let's keep getting these bangers out. Let me know, of course, what you guys want to see in the comments for 2020. Since we're here now, I need all new ideas for videos. Leave me all kind of banger ideas and requests in the comments. Of course, follow all my social media. Everything is in the description box. My Instagram is I am Shoeless Marie, and my Snapchat is Princess Girl 18. Stay active on all my social media sites, and of course, once again, support my cosmetic line, Shoeless Marie Cosmetics at smariecosmetics.com. It's all in the description box below, as well as my cosmetic page, business page on Instagram. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in my next one on Saturday. Bye, everyone. Mwah.